Welcome to the Folktale Project, this is Dan Charles. This week we're going to end as we began, with a poem. This poem in particular, it tells a very lovely and touching side of a character that we often get the mischievous, or sometimes downright evil side of. This is Jack Frost. The door was shut as doors should be before you went to bed last night, yet Jack Frost has got in, you see, and left your windows silver white. He must have waited till you slept, and not a single word he spoke, but penciled o'er the panes and crept away before you woke. And now you cannot see the trees nor fields that stretch beyond the lane, but there are fairer things than these his fingers traced on every pane. Rocks and castles towering high, hills and dales and streams and fields, and knights in armor riding by with nodding plumes and shining shields. And here are little boats, and there big ships with sails spread to the breeze, and yonder palm trees waving fair, and islands set in silver seas. Butterflies with gauzy wings, and herds of cows and flocks of sheep, and fruit and flowers, and all the things you see when you are sound asleep. For creeping softly underneath the door when all the lights are out, Jack Frost takes every breath you breathe and knows the things you think about. He paints them on the window pane in fairy lines with frozen steam, and when you wake you see again the lovely things you saw in dream. And it's a short day, it's a short poem, but Gabrielle Setoun has shown us a side of Jack Frost that we don't usually see. One where he creates for us beautiful pictures in frost on the window panes with the thoughts of our dreams. And I like that version of Jack Frost. It certainly is better than the mischievous one that we often know and will love in his own way. This is Dan Schultz from the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeart Radio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. As always, thank you so much for listening.